Okay, this is a little demo to demonstrate that in an electric circuit, when there is current flowing, something physically is moving in order for the charge to be transferred around the circuit. The setup I've got, this is a high voltage supply, up to 10 kilovolts, uh, multimeter set up to be a microammeter. Uh, these are wired to these parallel conducting plates. These are just aluminium plates with an air gap in between. So I don't have a complete circuit at present. In between the two plates, dangling from string, is just a standard ping pong ball. And um, hopefully what will happen as I turn up the voltage is that we should get our ping pong ball to act as a sort of charge carrier for us. Um, so I'll just turn this supply on and gradually bring up the PD. Um, and the first thing I notice is that my ping pong ball is starting to move. It's going between the two plates and really what's happening here is as it's touching the positive plate, it's losing electrons from its surface. That's causing the ping pong ball itself to become slightly positively charged. Um, then it's attracted to the negative plate, goes over there uh, and pulls electrons from that negative plate onto its surface. So the ping pong ball going backward and forward is actually shuttling electrons across that gap. If I turn up the PD, ping pong ball starts to go much, much faster. And now I've actually got measurable current flowing so my microammeter is detecting a, a steady current there of about 1.4 microamps, 1.4 millionths of an amp. So quite a few electrons crossing that gap every second. Um, turn down the PD, and my current dies away to zero, uh, and my ping pong ball all but stops moving. Um, yeah, so it can be a temperamental demo. Uh, it depends a little bit on humidity. So sometimes in a very warm, humid day, uh, you'll find you can't get the ping pong ball to behave quite as it should. So it is worth testing this demo um, before, you, before you try it in class. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.